Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, we took a look at Traceroute and uh, it has different tools and different ways to gather information about IP addresses, OS fingerprinting via tools which are outside of Kali Linux, not inside. And I will be teaching you the different tools that we have inside Kali Linux. But so far we have discussed various techniques of gathering information either with the help of online resources or tools. But now I will discuss footprinting through social engineering that is the art of grabbing information from people by manipulating them. And this section will cover the social engineering concept and techniques used to gather information. So social engineering is the art of convincing people to reveal confidential information. Social engineers depend on the fact that people are unaware of their valuable information and they are very careful, uh, careless about protecting it. So, uh, although some people say that social engineering is a totally non-technical process, I don't agree with that. In, uh, what you would need to go ahead and do some social engineering attack would be at least the basic knowledge of whatever information you are trying to gather, may it be uh, the credit card or debit card passwords or the company information or anything. Uh, you need to have information about that and you need a lot of confidence to talk about that so that the person in front of you thinks you are genuine. So, social engineering is an attack in which the attacker tricks the person and obtains confidential information about the target so the, uh, in such a way that target is unaware of the fact that someone is trying to steal the information. The attacker actually plays a very, uh, you can say, a cunning game with the target to obtain confidential information. The attacker takes advantage of the helping nature of people and their weakness to provide confidential information. So, however, there can be uh, different ways of social engineering attack. Uh, in the previous days, uh, there was a great hack his name was Kevin Mitnick. I'll just go and show you out his profile. He was the best. Ha he's the best hacker of all time, and uh, he uh, was a fisher. Uh, fisher means uh, he mostly used to do fishing attacks by calling people and telling them that I am this this guy. And he will. He stole a, a n number of amounts, billions of dollars. And but later on, he was caught by the FBI and he was uh, incarcerated. But uh, after five years, when he came back, he started his own security agency, and now he's a very uh, good security consultant. So you can go ahead and watch his uh, uh, tutorials at DefCon, and he's quite good. He's uh, if you go ahead and even search the best hacker in the world, the first name would be uh, that would come is of Kevin Mitnick, and it's so what you and he's the best social engineer that this world has ever had. I can say you that because um, as you can see, I'll just go uh, take you through Wikipedia. So as you can see that in 1999 he was convicted of various computer crimes and he was the most uh, wanted hacker in the United States. So Zimperium, if you don't know what Zimperium is uh, the latest hacking tool for an Android operating system and I, I myself did not knew that Kevin Mitnick uh, made that. Previously it was known as DSploit and now it's known as Zimperium. And it is a Fisher attack. Uh, it is an application to go ahead and do phishing attack. I can continue. I want to continue. Uh, okay. How do I continue? Let's check. Okay. Although it may show that there are difference, it, there is nothing because the reason being that uh, DS Pro, as you can see, that it has merged with Zimperian Xanthi 2, which is uh, as of now free. And Zimperium is very good, in fact. Uh, but I would officially support DS Plot, even though uh, Zimperium is uh, quite better than DS Plot. The reason being that it is uh, it does not have an offline version, which I can do by using the DS, which is an offline version. So, okay, perfect. So this was developed by Kevin Mitnick, and uh, yep. So uh, he was the best hacker of all time. He used to just uh, let's say for example, he used to just call and tell them, "Hey, I'm calling you from this company, and due to this reason, your card was blocked or your card was hacked. So can you just help." Me? And he will not even ask you. Uh, the total, um, uh, let's say your card number. He will just go ahead and ask you the last four digits or yes, yeah, just your CVV number and he will gather the first uh, few digits from somewhere else or he will call sometime later on or some weeks later on or even some months later on and he will ask you only the first uh, uh, 12 digits and he used to gather information separately. 
that was the best part that no one was even uh, bothered to think that okay uh, he's just asking for the uh, only one or two th- uh, parts of my whole card and they used to simply give them out and he hacked into several different uh, parts and that's how and also uh, this uh, specific part in cal linux uh, i can I'll just go ahead and show it out to you it was developed by K- uh, kevin mitnick and someone else i believe his name is david so i'll just go ahead and tell you he developed this social engineering toolkit and yes perfect so we have these different attacks and of social engineering which we can do but these are a bit technical and the one which i was telling you was non technical so to gain uh, to perform social engineering attack you first need to gain the confidence of the authorized user and then trick him or her into revealing confidential information the basic goal of a uh, social engineering attack is to obtain required confidential information and then use the information for hacking attempts such as gaining unauthorized access to the system identity theft industrial espionage and many more so social engineering can be performed in many ways such as eavesdropping shoulder surfing dumpster driving impersonation on social engineering attacks and so on so collecting information using eavesdropping shoulder surfing and dumpster driving is uh, quite different which normally we you won't do but uh, that is also quite a uh, very risky that's why people normally use these days a uh, uh, machine shredder to go ahead and uh, shred all of the documents before they actually go ahead and uh, put it in the garbage eavesdropping is just going ahead and listening to some people's conversation it can be either by going near to them or by using any other techniques such as through phones or hacking into their phones or webcams and camera and the best part of this is that uh, you can do all of these things with, with just with the use of cal linux you don't need to call them you don't need to do anything and you can uh, go ahead and uh, hack into their webcam or you can go ahead and create fake uh, websites like phishing attacks only by going ahead and using the cal linux after that we have dumpster driving dumpster driving is also known as trashing where the attacker looks for the information in the target company's dumpster the attacker may gain vital information such as phone bills contact information financial information and you are wondering that how dumpster driving can be useful it can be something like this let's say for your company has uh, a lot of uh, uh, uh let's say uh, it bills uh, or not it bills exactly let's say due to some reason uh, 